Hi guys, welcome to another installation video. This one is about Arclinux D. 1st of May, we've made a lot of changes to our distribution. We have now Arclinux XL, XS, the D version and the B version. And as said in the introduction, nothing really changes for Arclinux D and B, right? It says here, Arclinux D is unchanged, B is unchanged. Generally speaking, yes, that is true. But nevertheless, I'm going to make a video because there are some differences. So we go to Oracle and we go to Oracle Linux D. It's downloaded. It's normally on our um, well download page. But at this point in time, it's still on AAG. You know where it is then. It's going to be on ftp.belnet.be Oracle Linux AAG. So up here it says AAG. Downloaded everything. It's on my machine it's in here the only thing i need to do is click and start it and it's starting on my second screen where it's normally supposed to start and now it's on my first screen this is one of the differences that we boot up with choices that we did not have prior to to may 2021 we have now incorporated the nvidia driver so if you have bought a machine that has an nvidia driver and that's it and you never were able to boot up up with a linux distribution because the nvidia drivers were not there they are now okay so that's important most of us will probably be better off starting with number line the open source drivers but if you already know you will get into trouble you start up with nvidia you can edit these things. So if, if there are more issues particular to your hardware, you can always do a tap or an E, depending on which Linux distribution you're on. You can actually type things in here. So if you have some, some technical problem with a piece of um, your motherboard, for instance, then you can type here a command and it will not execute or will execute something. So maybe one more thing because I said will execute or will not execute. See the nouveau dot motet equals zero. Zero means it's false. The light is out. True is one means the light is on, right? So that's something you can set as well there. So like I said, most of us choose that one. If not successful, second one, if not successful, third one, if not successful, ask us. And then we boot. It's the same for UFI. This is now BIOS on a virtual box. And since May 2021, now we have support for NVIDIA. So the pseudo pack minus S NVIDIA, that's what we're talking about. Not the 340, not the 390 that you should build. There is a fail there. That's normal, right? That's normal. The red failed is normal. It's missing the Celtic hearing. We did not make the choice for you. It's a freedom. You either install it or not install it. So the tweak tool basically is not on Arclinx D. It's supposed to be a minimal bare version where you can do your thing. Right? It's like almost an Arch Linux. It's not, but it's like almost. It has a TTY in the end if you don't do anything. And if you do anything, you will we'll see it in Calamars. You can install more stuff and you boot into Plasma, for example. We have the welcome app that says, look, think about where am I living? Is the current, let's type this one, is the current um, server I'm using the best for me? living in China, living in Australia, living in Brazil, right? So and let me get me first my Azerti and mirror list shows me where it's coming from. It's coming from Osbeck and for most of us, that's okay, right? So mm, try it out without changing it. But anyway, it's there. Gparted is there as well to just have a look at your system and maybe clean some stuff up. So we can start with a clean slate. It's always good for operating systems. Calamaris tool is another application we've built to tweak a little bit Calamaris. 
By default, Calamaris installs your system with X4. We've do, done that for the last four years. But with a little tweak, you can actually save it to do a BTRFS or a ButterFS. Just made a video also about Arconix XS and I did a BTRFS there. So let's do a riser today on this one. And Arconix XL have made just X4. It's just a choice, but that's what Arconix is all about freedom choices and whether you choose this package that wallpaper that theme results in a different feel and people will say it's a different distribution no it's linux with different choices that's it all right run calamaris finally eric you gotta install this thing so calamaris is a free installer and it has a version and we contribute to it and other people contribute to it and it's gonna be better over time. Choose the language you like to talk, uh, to, to see Calamaris in, so everything gonna change to Dutch or English or Italiano, or whatever. You choose the language. Since I'm making tutorials in English, um, better keep it English. And it's always a frozen moment in time. In this particular Arclix D, there is basically no desktop. It's bare. There is nothing, what you see is what you get. Yeah, it's just packages, but it's not a desktop. It's not applications. There is nothing. That's the point. Because then you build, can build it up rather than break it down. So, but it is with a kernel, right? Otherwise we wouldn't be able to boot. It is with a kernel and it's frozen in time. At some point in time, I built this. It's like May. So it means a week ago, I've built this with a kernel that was available a week ago. So if you are installing this in September and you want to have the last kernel, the, the latest kernel, you do this one. And if you already know you're going to run into issues because you have older hardware and you know that Linux LTS is your savior, you select it right now and you'll boot up with Linux LTS. Next we go. So the NVIDIA guys, uh, who actually need the package, the pseudo Pacman minus S NVIDIA, that one should not be here and should uh, should be selecting the second line there, right? Where we just discussed this about. But even so, when you boot up and you see this, you can still install it. Or if you want the LTS kernel, then you need to also have the NVIDIA LTS. It all goes together. It's a, it's a bundle. It's a marriage, I always say. They come together. These guys are all installed now again on this ISO of May. And if you think it might help to get the latest Nouveau for your NVIDIA driver on your next system, on your installation, right? Then you can do so. You can select, have the freedom of choice to download it again. And then this is a very different way of thinking. It's not enabled our printing it's not enabled our network it's not enabled our bluetooth they are enabled on the others d is you figure it out you install it or not it's entirely up to you right so you select it or you do not select it sdm installs sdm that's our standard for um, the coming years and that's the application, that's the configuration, wallpapers we need and all the themes we like and love. Select it or do not select it. And you start X, for example, to launch your desktop. But this is easy, this is fun, this is also nice, beautiful. Next, choose your desktop. 22 choices and more in, are in the, in the pipeline, right? I think we can get to 30. We'll have to do our best, <laughs> but that's what it is, a passion, hobby. We'll do our best. Next. So I'm not installing anything. Did I select anything? I have not installed anything. Nothing to download. So I'm, I'm going to end up in a black screen. So if, if you say, Eric, um, don't want that, start clicking. You want to have a login manager. You want to have, choose one, right? DWM. Voila. And then that's it. 
now you can later on you can say pseudo pacman minus s firefox right but you can also say i'm gonna make a screenshot later on and put it on discord on the channel and say thanks guys here's a picture everything was successful great installation blah and you share it on telegram for example and those things will be installed and all the rest is just choices linux has lots of things to offer for free great applications Um, one thing back here, there are a bundle of fonts that you can install and try out and say, wow, XFC looks great if I just change it to Roboto Mono or something like that. Have a look. It will change your system for the better or for the worse. And that's personal. And then we go for our keyboard next erase things replace things install alongside so i have something on my machine so i can say let's put it alongside it so that it all works so for example have arclix and arclix well i should now say arclix xl or xs together with arclix d or an arclix b and that works as well so four is is easy but keep it to arclix right and compare the things together i for instance, um, compare Arclinx D, BSPWM, and Arclinx B, BSPWM, and figure out what pieces am I missing? What Lego blocks am I missing to have an actually Arclinx B, BSPWM, starting with an Arclinx D? But that's just ideas I have. What ifs, right? So, no swap, no hibernate. Take a look at what happens. Big hard disk. Um, a small partition, bigger partition to hibernate, and no partition at all. Swap to file, and you can make the file size, the swap file size, bigger with a small script. Easy. Always scripts look in the dot bin. And this is, of course, your choice. If you want to have the same password or not, log in automatically or not. And off it goes. It goes in installing whatever you selected, whatever you set out to do so let's um, go back to whatever i selected now i believe it was eight if you do not if you just pass through this you'll get around eight packages of arclinx and all the rest is gonna be arclinx so Percentage wise, what would that be? Less than 1% is then Arclinx, a key ring, wallpapers, NeoFetch. I think Paru is in there, the config to reverse it, and that's it. So, for people who want to be closer to Arclinx, this is probably going to be, well, an investment in time for sure. If you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be a frustration time. <laughs> but um, it is really close to Archlex. Only eight packages or so are then installed. Let's um, wait for the installation and see how many it actually is. All right, it's finished installing minutes ago but i was making another video on the other one so like i said initialize pacman keyring don't worry boot existing os let's count the packages did not do anything to the system i mean by anything so there are no let's have a look minus remove what am I typing? It's too dark in my layer here. <laughs> Arco Linux. So, Arco Linux D system configuration files. Okay, we need those system configuration files. Grub theme is how you greet it. It's a nice blue uh, line there in the right bottom, bottom right. Arco Linux keyring. Uh huh. Signing keys. Yep. Mirror list. Where are the packages needed? 
NeoFetch, just for fun. That's the thing up here that says this big A there. Then we have Paru. Yeah, Paru had a needed setting to reverse it alphabetically. Well, reverse the sort um, of his output. But so we need it. Tryzen is out. Paru is in. Yeah, is in. Two AOR helpers. Helpers. If one fails, the other can work. If AOR is down, both will fail. Articling system D services in there. Okay, services, wallpapers, just to have a nice welcome and the welcome app. So as you see, the tweak tool is not installed by default. This results of the, the, the because of that, that's the choice, always choices, right? We want to have the most bare system possible and I should be changing my number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages. Okay, so nine packages are from Linux, and all the rest is pure, pure Arch Linux. In percentage, it would be nothing. You divide eight by 573 and you know the percentage. Where do I get the number? Line three up there, NeoFetch. Packages, five, seven, three, Pacman. So we need to divide nine by 573. That's the percentage of packages we use. If you do it like this, Hercules D. All right, um, let's include the, the the error that you see there. The only thing that happens, let's stay now in our system without installing XFCE or Mate or Cinnamon, right? Let's just navigate to sudo nano. I'm just gonna open it already straight away, etc. So it's included in the video, you know why. If you if you are going to install Arclix Tweet tool later, don't bother, everything will be fine. But in here we have a Pacman. Uh, let's see, AC system T, yep, system, yep, and then we have the, there he is, Pacman initialize service. And it says here populate Celtic, and it doesn't know Celtic. It doesn't find Celtic because Celtic is just not installed. It's not there. So either you say, I'm never going to install Celtic ever. Good for you. Delete the line. Yes, maybe I'll download some of the packages of Celtic because that's part of the Arclix tweak tool, being able to download more from another server. Then you leave it in. But it's entirely up to you what you do. So deleting it will be pressing the delete button and say control X. Yes, safe. And with the sudo I did, it's actually safe now. It's gone. You see? And with it is the sudo reboot. With it is going to be the error. The error is not going to be there because uh, it's not loaded. The thing it wants to load that's not there it's gone so no errors anymore and you sudo system ctl status of pacman in its service is just going to be active you see all the keys that's good all right that's it for me enjoy arclinx d it's the most minimal bare version we have in the Arcolix project. It will take some time to get things running, but that's the fun about it. And um, do enjoy learning about Linux. Cheers.